Light greens, we could clean, so he buy me nice things I fiend, bigger bling, only register could change Too high, too fly, when they look up at the sky It's a bird, it's a plane, superwoman, say my name He said beggars can't be choosy I said it's Gucci, I'm couture like the movies Don't need face tuning, Jamba Jewish, looking smoothie No GMO, these bananas never bruising If you can't remember two things I never needed luck, see my haters say what's up Best part of waking up like folders in your cup Grinding everything I got What's going on everybody? Brian O'Hunt for the good stuff back with another episode. So, I've never been to a farmer's market over here in Florida. Asked a couple questions, they told me what the better spots around were, and Yellow Green Farmer's Market over in Hollywood, Florida is where everybody pointed me to. I needed to get over there, I did a little research into the restaurants, and I came across Uchu Tacos. Uchu Tacos, it's a concept where they're basically taking all these old school Peruvian favorites, and then they're putting them inside of tacos. I love that. Anytime you have an opportunity to change the game up a little bit, do it, because I'm going to be the first one online to give it a shot. As far as Uchu Tacos is concerned, you have two different owners. You have Rodrigo and you have David. David's working the line and Rodrigo is taking care of the guests in the front. Hopping into it, first set of tacos, we went with a couple of the seafood options. Lobster taco on the menu, sign me up. Octopus taco on the menu, you know I want that. So we got one and one. Now the lobster taco, it's lobster escabeche. It's an anticuchero style octopus. On the lobster escabeche taco, you get cold mashed potatoes, yellow peppers, eggs, olive, cilantro, onion, crema rocoto. With the octopus tacos, octopus anticuchero, cold mashed potatoes, banca pepper, salsa criolla, cilantro, onion, and black olive sauce. The black olive that they use is botilla olives, very unique to Peruvian cuisine. Now all these tacos were awesome, but octopus is my number one. So this octopus taco, you go there, you can thank me later, okay? Now round two, we went with the lomo saltado taco. It's one of those items that you can find on a large percentage of street corners in Peru. Lomo saltado, it's one of those staple dishes. If you know how to prepare it, there's a bunch of different ingredients, but what makes it special, there's usually a vinegar component, they throw in a little bit of cumin, uh, aji panca, and then a little bit of that garlic as well. On this version, you got caramelized onions, tomatoes, cilantro, onions, and that same beautiful crema rocoto sauce. On the chicharron colorado, it's Huancayo style pork, salsa criolla, cilantro, onion, and that beautiful Huancaina sauce. Now, Huancayo, it's actually a city east of Lima. Uh, the preparation of this pork, it's in La Caja China. So it's like that uh, wooden box that you see where they cook the coals, they flatten out the pig, and then they cook it over a couple hours. It's one of my favorite ways to cook pork. And if you're looking to light up your taste buds properly, this is the style of taco that you're looking for. They also have this awesome selection of vegetarian items. Mushroom tacos I was in the mood for, and I also saw that they had a cauliflower option. I've been on this like crazy cauliflower kick as of late. On the fungi tacos, or the mushroom tacos, there's three different types. Properly seasoned, cooked down right, almost has like that meaty flavor when all said and done, but there's no meat in the taco. It's the same preparation as the lomo saltado, but substituting out the beef for some of these delicious mushrooms. Now, this cauliflower taco was totally different than pretty much anything on the menu. So you get the cauliflower, they actually mixed in a little bit of marinated tofu, radish, cucumber, cilantro, onion, and a little avocado crudo sauce. I saw that they had a couple different options as far as non-alcoholic beverages were concerned. So I'm like, let's check those out. So they had the chicha morada, which is that corn-based drink with all the mulling spices and diced up apple on top. And then they also had this pineapple juice, which was a pineapple water they marketed as. A little bit of mint with those same mulling spices, crazy delicious, very different, very unique. It's actually the first time that I ever had it. Definitely enjoyed. See, the farmer's market is all about those symbiotic relationships as well. So you have the pachanga beer. Pachanga beer, it's actually made in a stall across from Uchu Tacos where they're offering coffee as well as delicious beers. It's kind of like a Corona, it's lighter in style, easy drinking. 
They threw on some spices that were similar to like a Michelada spice set, and it was really tasty with the tacos. Highly suggested. Okay, so for dessert, we did crema volteado, or it's basically kind of like a flan when all said and done, uh, but they come in these little cubes. You throw in a little bit of whipped cream to doll it up, and then you take Peruvian dark chocolate and then ceremoniously shave it right on top. Very rich, very decadent, very delicious to finish off a meal and kind of change that flavor profile inside of your mouth. The other item was chocolate mousse. Chocolate mousse, throw an Oreo on top, very old school, very classic, very delicious. My girl doesn't like chocolate, so I got to eat that whole thing myself, not a problem, went down very easy, and then I got a little bit of hers as well. Something to know about the dessert menu is they basically cycle it out whenever they feel like it. It's cool because it gives them an opportunity to see what people actually like, what they should leave on the menu, and it gives them an opportunity to creatively keep putting out delicious products. Oh, well, let me tell you the hot sauce. Damn, that thing is good. The hot sauce is the best hot sauce I've had literally in about a year. Ask for it, ask for it on the side. That's your pro tip for the week, and you're welcome if you like the spicy stuff. <sighs> Uchu tacos, everybody. Get over here. It's Yellow Green Farmer's Market over in Hollywood, Florida. Saturdays and Sundays doing their thing awesome. You need to get over here around 10 a.m. and just sit here all day. Relax until like four. Tacos, beer, nunchucks I saw somewhere in the corner. There's some cool stuff here. Thank you for joining. You guys are awesome. And as always, you keep watching, because I'm going to keep hunting. And I'm going to see you soon, all right?